and I have family here in Gola country. So we are here to reconnect with you guys. Now, do you know why Africans were brought to the colonies? Why people were taken from my country and brought here to these great United States? To grow rice, plant rice. That's the sole reason why we have Gullah culture today. Because those guys who wanted rice, that they didn't have the skills to grow rice, went and looked for us. Because we were skillful at cultivating rice. So I'm here today to tell you that after 13 years, I came to Penn Center the first time in 2006, and uh, we've been building relationships over the years. This year, we are taking 50, about 50, Gola Gichis to Sierra Leone on a historical story tour. We will show them how the slave trade impacted our country because we lost a lot of resources. We will also show them how Africans resisted the transatlantic slave trade. Because not all of us were willing to just come in and, and not fight back. We have a place in Sierra Leone, a mountain top, a mesa, where Africans built a village to protect themselves against slave invaders. Because when they're up there, they can see miles around them. And they will fight and protect themselves. Do you know why we have a Gola culture today? Partly why? It's because when those Africans came, mosquitoes came with them. And plantation owners used to die from malaria and yellow fever. They didn't know what was causing it. They thought it was something in the rice. But no, on those slave voyages, as Africans were shipped across the Atlantic Ocean, we came with mosquitoes. And because of that, we were isolated on these plantations and we were able to keep our African culture, our African history, and our Africaness, if you will. I. I have a couple of guys here. This one guy here, he's going to call to the ancestors with a drum. Because that's what he does. I must tell you, though, that uh, we are Africans. I, my shirt says, I was made in Africa. And so were you. You don't have to be born in Africa for Africa to be born in you. Yes? So, we are actively making these connections or reconnections because we want you guys to feel proud of your African ancestry because you come from a line of great kings and queens. And we must reconnect. We believe the time is now. We must confront the transatlantic legacy of the transatlantic slave trade. So we must talk about our history and talk about it proudly. Now, those are 50 odd African Americans, Gola Gichis, that are going with us on our trip. Um, many of them are community leaders, and we're hoping that they can come back and share their experiences with you. In fact, South Carolina Educational TV knows the importance of this event. And guess what? They will be doing a documentary film based on our trip. We, we, we will live here on December 27th and will return on January 7th. Victoria Smalls is going on the trip. Auntie Pearly Sue and her girl Kinfolk are going on the trip. Ron Days and his whole family, Ron, Natalie, and the two children, Sarah, and what's the son's name? Simeon, the actor. They're all going on a trip because it's an important trip. Now, like I said earlier, do you know why we didn't have uh, Afri I mean, Europeans planting rice in Africa? No. I said it earlier, the same reason why you were isolated here, because Sierra Leone is home of mosquitoes. It would have been cheaper for them to go to Africa and grow rice there, but no, they had to do the, the triangle, right? From Africa, they brought us here, we grew rice here. And do you know why, why, why they had to grow rice? It is because it was in high demand in Europe. Those guys in Europe wanted rice. Rice does not grow in Europe. They don't have the climate for it. The semi-tropical area here has that. And so rice was grown here 
and taken back to the, uh, uh, Europe for military people who are fighting wars all their lives. But anyway, I'm talking too much. I want to call my master drama here so to tell you a story about why, um, why we are connected to African-Americans, specifically Gullah Geechee's.